last thing here before we get to uh, Vault Housekeeping. Um, what uh, what does Fallout 4 not tell you? Um, <laughs> and is that a good thing? How long how long do you have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it, I didn't know a game with so much text could be so much like Dark Souls. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it, Fallout 4 does not always explain things well. Uh, that's an interesting uh, little nuance of it. I think it explains a lot, just not where you expect it to. Uh, mm -hmm. Like. The, the load times are a little bit long on consoles, but that's kind of good because it, it shows you a bunch of things as tips in those loading screens. Uh, I, I learned a lot from, from that. Surprising, because those don't always have great tips. Like yeah. Very obvious, like, oh, if you run, you'll get to places faster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking very particular. There's a game that's done that. Right. It's like, yeah. Well, well, duh. Yeah. And yeah. so it's like great that they're actually making use yeah. of that and space. Not, not yeah. all of them are useful, don't, sure. don't get me wrong, but but I, but some things did pop up and teach me uh, things that, that I didn't know. For example, uh, it doesn't tell you about uh, when, when you're crafting, it doesn't tell you you can, you can like load all of your stuff into the crafting bench and it's just available. Right. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And apparently, I guess there's an, another trick that definitely doesn't tell you where if you if you deconstruct things into their components, they, it's much more efficient because it doesn't waste any, any parts. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it, it doesn't tell you that at all, and people are now figuring that out. Yeah, I, I, the way I understand that works, apparently if you drop things and then use your build menu to deconstruct them, you get more raw components out of them than you would if yep. you built them just piece by piece, like feeding them into the menu. Yep. Um, that's, what I, that's what I've heard anyway. Oh. So I, I haven't tried that yet. So but, don't uh, drop all your junk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I actually, yeah. like, didn't, there's no tutorial for it, so, but it does tell you uh, a bunch if you just read all the options along the bottom of the screen in the Pip-Boy yeah. mm -hmm. um, or in the in the crafting interface. Like, I didn't realize for like 90% of my playthrough that you can sort your inventory by weight. You can sort uh. your inventory by damage, uh, you know, uh, like your weapon inventory by damage. You can sort by like, all these things. Right. Like sorting by weight w would have been huge because I, I had just been going through, it's like I need uh, when I'm managing my inventory, figure out what, what to leave behind, what to take with me. I'm like, well, how much is this way? How much is this way? How much is this way? Tell and the I, folks at home how to do that, Dan. Just, it, uh, so. but, I mean, there's just an option at the, at the bottom of the screen. I think it's yeah. left stick uh, yeah. on, on uh, gamepad. Um, that that will just sort sort your inventory in a bunch of different ways. Toggle this. Like that's fantastic. Um, it doesn't. One thing it doesn't tell you that it should tell you, uh, just interface wise, is it doesn't give how much carrying capacity your uh, your companions have. Yeah. Yeah. That drives me nuts. It's like on on the left side you've got yeah. that you've got that uh, counter for how much uh, of your carrying capacity you have left. On the right side, nope, nothing. Yep. It's like, it's why is that mystery. not there? Why is that not there? You spend this weird time like trying to fill in the cracks when you reach that point where you're yeah. like, look, you've got all this armor, you've got all these weapons. Could you at least carry an ashtray? Like, yeah. like what's the <laughs> smallest thing that you can still pack in because I need that weight? I, I know it's it's a violation and it would screw up special and all the rest, but I pray the next Bethesda game that just get rid of carry limits. Uh, nope, this, nope, I, nope. I, I want to carry it all around. Just, nope. just don't ever make me drop things off again. Then you have that's terrible. Too much I'm a terrible right. person. Yeah, I that, think that's a mistake. I want <laughs> giant Maniac Mansion lead line pockets that I can just drop anything in. There are perks where you can expand your... your uh, yeah, but like I don't want people. those perks. I just want to carry it around. It sounds like you do want those perks. <laughs> it sounds uh, like those perks are very valuable to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, um, another one is uh, the fact that you can sit and set something. You know, I need this resource. You set that at your base. Right. Um, I, it does tell you this, but what I did, I was too dumb to figure out that the magnifying glass next to things I was looking at was the signal for that. Yeah. Oh, I was just right, like, when's right. it going to start telling me? Right. I'm like, uh, no, that's like, dumb. Oh, yeah. that's the, so the thing that I struggled the most with that I, we, I actually only found out a couple days ago is um, how the local leader perk works. Because I had all these settlements and so and so needed food and so and so needed defense, and but I've been turning everything in at Sanctuary and I didn't want to slap back and forth all my gears and wood and steel. And I saw, oh, there's a perk that allows you to connect these. Um, so I bought it and nothing happened. And I wasn't able to access what I needed at different uh, places. And then uh, I stumbled across just being able to assign a settler to be the supply line. Uh. I thought, oh, I've got that figured out now. So I'll send them to Red Rocket truck stop or whatever. And so I followed them over to the truck stop and I thought this is gonna be really great. And they got to the truck stop and they stood at the sort of borders of the base for like a minute, and then they turned around and walked the other way, and I was like, <laughs> okay, did that do anything? And so then I went to check the tool bench and saw, nope, none of the stuff that I had at the other base is here now, so it's clearly broken, and then I just ground out like four points of perks just to get this local leader bonus, um, and spent a day just super frustrated by that. 
And then I realized when I went back there to build something um, that the resources are shared, they're just not shared in the inventory at the workbenches. So if you can build 17 radar towers at Sanctuary and you're linked with uh, Red Rocket Truck Stop, you go to the Rocket Truck Stop, you can still build those 17 radar towers, but it won't tell you that you have access to those resources. Oh. And so part of me was mad about that, <laughs> but part of me felt like, wow, like I discovered something. Yeah. Like I learned something about how this world works. And so there was a certain element of satisfaction or gratification in that. Um, At the so same I, time, I think I would rather have read that. Yeah, so yeah exactly. Like, well, you can skip, over, you can skip over the frustrating part. But there is something to discovery. Um, yeah. There is that part of figuring things out. I, games tell us too much sometimes. Uh, I, it's, again, I enjoy Souls games yeah. for that reason. Uh, um, I understand they have a lot of problems, but one of the things I love about them is it's, it's people made the comparison before. It's like The Legend of Zelda. They just kind of drop you in and say, go find something. Yeah. But that's the tension, I think, also between uh, what we were talking about before with the simulationist versus sort of abstracted version of things. Um, where I feel kind of annoyed that I have to pick up every pencil in the game, <laughs> right? Like I feel like it, that's going a little bit too far on the simulation side for me. And on the abstraction side, I mean there are tons of houses in any of the cities that you go to are boarded up. The designers just say, look, don't bother. Like we're just going to open up the houses where there's stuff to find. And I feel like that's a great concession. Um, but now, could you make it so I don't have to pick up every single pencil that oh, I find? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for a box of pencils. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting exactly. for a Fallout or Bethesda like Katamari Damacy spinoff, where you just pick <laughs> up everything the and start rolling. King of the universe and just yeah, rolling over the wasteland. That's going to be a mod on the PC side. <laughs> I'm great with that. Sounds good.